Let's take a quick look at the physics samples. Uh, I'm going to start with a simple demo. So you have all these uh, right click uh, dynamic rigid bodies that fall on a static one. As you can see, uh, if uh, in, in the render tab, if I activate the um, highlight or deactivate it, uh, the dynamic rigid bodies will be colored in a greenish tone. Um, and the static one will be a bit magenta or violet. Um, physics uh, here in categories uh, hides and shows all the physics objects because usually the physics objects you just use them to drive some other visual objects. In this case I'm going to leave it on. Uh, let me activate the uh, key visualizer with shift K. Um, okay, uh, you can also, uh, like right now you have the pivots. Um, so you also highlight the center or, of all the objects or the uh, pivot for all the objects. And you also have the color code. So uh, in this case for rigid bodies, green for dynamic, uh, violet for, um, for the static one. And what's also important is that you can select uh, by clicking on the pivot, even if you don't have direct line of sight to the, uh, to the object. Uh, so here, for instance, I'm moving the object that was behind everything. You also have the handles. These are the new uh, handles that, or gizmos, whatever, how you prefer, uh, that allow you to move uh, all your objects uh, in the viewport. And you have these uh, rotations around the axis, right? Uh, movement along the axis and movement in the planes perpendicular to the um, same color axis. Um, as you've seen, that's why I actually told you to be careful about uh, the physics objects because, yeah, the rigid bodies do fall. And once they fall, I haven't yet made anything to stop them. So they just go like forever. Uh, but you can still uh, get them back in a sense by resetting the simulation. Uh, you can also activate or deactivate, and you can do it from here or from here, uh, the simulation. Let's deactivate, reset, and here is the initial position of, the, uh, of these dynamic rigid bodies and the static one. Um, let's simulate, and now I'm setting the start transform here. And this will set the start transform for all the rigid bodies. So right now, if I reset the simulation, this is the initial position. Uh, and uh, this one, as well as the collisions, uh, are um, actions that can be undone. But you have to reset the simulation to, you know, to see all the objects that have already fallen through uh, the support 
you have to place there. Um, yeah. Another thing that is uh, important here is that um, when you select the a rigid body, well, you have all these parameters, and you can modify uh, the dimensions, but you can also modify all the linked objects. Um, in this case, I created all these uh, dynamic rigid bodies as linked. So if I have this on, as you can see, they all get modified at the same time. Same for the uh, roundness, for instance. You have the mass. Um, and you also have uh, these parameters, uh, the elastic restitution, so for collisions, how much of the uh, uh, normal velocity is uh, given back to the objects, um, friction and some roll friction. There will be more parameters exposed in time, but yeah, these are, let's say, uh, some basic ones that you can use. Mm, okay, you have some uh, reset transform velocities and set start transform per object. Uh, if you call it without the modified linked objects, or you can, of course, apply them for uh, all the linked objects. Um, these buttons here will call uh, the respective functions on all the rigid bodies in the world. Um, let's reset. Okay, let's turn off the simulation and uh, reset. As you can see, uh, the properties, the parameters for these objects have remained, so the dimensions that we changed previously, they kind of stayed the same. We just reseted their uh, transforms and velocities. So right now, if I click simulate, you have this new, this new arrangement of objects. If I go to the first uh, state in history, then I'm going to have uh, these new dimensions, these old dimensions, in fact. But as you can see, um, I have to again reset the simulation to get the initial state. So you have to understand that the simulation, what is simulated, doesn't go into the history. Um, only the initial transforms of the simulation. So if you want to see that initial transform, you always need to reset the simulation um, to get the, the initial position. Um, same if you move a rigid body, a dynamic rigid body, in fact, while in uh, simulated mode, uh, this will not be added to the uh, history, so it can't be undone. But if you move a static one or a kinematic one, uh, these will be recorded. Um, and <clears throat> one more thing um, about this demo is that um, well, you have the physics tools here. So you have all these uh, static and dynamic objects. And all of them also have this uh, roundness, uh, thickness, let's say, which will give a more round shape. For instance, even the cone, if we place it here, will have this roundness 
about it if you want to have some uh, rolling uh, interaction between uh, bodies instead of having some, you know, very sharp edges. Um, okay, so that's the first part of this uh, uh, physics demo. Uh, let's go to the small other small samples. 